Well, I don't think anybody left early. Um, it was a good game by two teams. You know, certainly disappointed we lost, but uh, a great effort by our kids, and certainly uh, when you play a good team like Duluth, you know, you expect a good quality opponent like that, and all their effort as well. So, a great uh, Division II college football game. Any questions for the players? Uh, starting off with uh, Dante, uh, the early success of the early game, how good were you guys feeling with that, and what uh, were you doing uh, you were the ball? Well, um, that was a game plan going in, you know. I mean, with the weather permitted, uh, we wanted to just get the ground game going and whatnot. We practiced it all week. We felt it would be a success. You know, coming from the last game to this game, we felt that we could run the ball on. So we were real confident. Phil, uh, you guys uh, won the journal about today. You know, this time around, you know, I mean, how big was that hanging on the ball? I, mean, I, I learned from last time. Yeah. Uh, I realized, obviously, I couldn't, you know, make as many mistakes. You know, I, I just had to realize you know, when they come hot, I got, I got to make sure I read. So I was, I was really, you know, more aware of just making the right decision and not trying to force things. I kind of let guys like Dante and you know, and Fred and those guys make plays for me, so I didn't force myself. How disappointed is this? I mean, what are you feeling right now? It, it hurts. Uh, you know, we don't play the game to lose. We want to win. We, you know, uh, you know, we feel like we've got a good team. We feel like we've got a team that you know can win these kind of games. Um, hats off to Duluth. You know, great team. But uh, I'm sure in a couple of days I'll feel better. But it's gonna take a while. Yeah. How are you feeling? You got did a lot today. I mean, how are you feeling overall? I feel like I usually feel after a game. <laughs> yeah. I'll be in the training room tomorrow. But that's yeah. how it is. It's football. Yeah. Tony, um, I'm not sure you're holding there in the last. Yeah, I mean, how did the kick look from your perspective? It looked good right away, and then I think it just got pushed wide. I don't know if there was a win or anything, but it was a good snap. I think it was a good roll by me, and then I think, I don't know, I just went a little wide. Yep, I think you went one of four on the day, you know, throw goals. I mean, what, what was going on there? Was it, uh, were, they, were they just, uh, I don't what was know. going on? In the beginning of the day, game, I know it was, it was cold and windy. I don't know if that had a factor. It calmed down in you know, the second half. was going to be but I don't know if it was the wind or the cold or whatever, but I'm not sure. What do you think right now? I mean, how difficult it is? Very, like Phil said, but I don't know. It was a really good team. We had our chances. Um, we were up 17-14, and we had them get a field goal, march on the field. But it'll take some time to... We're out, but it'll, it's going to hurt for a while. Defense created turnovers today. How big was that? I mean, that's what you get to talk about. That's something that they're done. Are those two things you call the position? We always want to get it back for our offense. And with three turnovers, we felt like we had a good shot. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's not, I don't know. It's just nice to get those turnovers. Uh, it hurts right now. When Marvin had that pick, I mean, where were you guys feeling at that point? Uh, oh, I mean, you like you had that was awesome. We were, we were all excited. We knew we had to get out there one more time. Um, it was just if we could hold them, we'd win. But again, they, they got a ton of air on us, and they got the field goal. Marvin, what happened on that play? You had that interception. It was a, it was a back, uh, yeah, pass. Pass. I just wanted to stay back, because I knew they were going to try something cheeky. And threw it up. How well did the defense play today? I, mean, no. I thought we played pretty well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, we, uh, we won the turnover. That was good. How old Bolt was running the ball? I mean, how tough is he stopping? You know, he was scrambling. Yeah, he was scrambling a lot. Uh, we sent a lot at him. And he just managed to get out. He's a good player. Coach, what was your mindset going into overtime? And, uh, what did you want to see? I mean, what was your mindset? Well, we got the flip, you know, and you know, so they had the defensive end just trying to see what was going to happen. And it was good to hold to a field goal and knew that you know, your opportunities were from there. And, you know, just unfortunately, just were able to, to score and then not to her field goal uh, at that time. So it was uh, tough for everybody. Um, certainly, you learn from a little bit, but it still hurts. How hard is it to get field goals on a day like this? I'm so cold. Did that have something to do with that? No, I mean, you know, the first one that we got blocked was the high snap. And the timing of it then was skewed, so that's how, you know, and I don't think how we got it up it quick. So, you know, we had some troubles like that, and then we, you know, we lost our full-time snapper uh, short to the third in the, in the punting game. So that probably uh, didn't set us right where we needed, you know, for snap to get off time. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> good job by the bring the spring pressure.
So Schwartz was snapping, and then who ended up snapping at the end? That was a uh, during where he came in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can we um, anybody else questions, John? The um, just talk about the punting game. The one was blocked. What happened on the last punt? Uh, did someone with UMD get a piece of that? Yeah, I think somebody got a piece. Yeah. yeah. Is snap that been snap to get off. Yeah, the problem is snap to get off. It just wasn't fast enough to get back. You know, projection was decent. You know, but you know, just probably a little cold and getting the first time in a long time to be able to snap again. How frustrating as a coach uh, is that? I mean, getting to the red zone three three times. I mean, first of the twenty minutes of the game and not uh, like some points. Too many penalties. You know, ultimately, look back at the penalties in the first quarter. That's what kept us out of the zone. So, you know, you got to. Try to avoid those, and I think we had another scoring opportunity. Should we have done that? Uh, Phil, as far as uh, first first quarter, you guys marched the ball down the field pretty well. Uh, first quarter, um, good protection for you, and, and even when they did come, it seemed like you were able to escape it. Uh, mm -hmm. What what differences did you see in the defense I mean, coming at you uh, after the first quarter? Did they make an adjustment, or uh, I don't know if they really made an adjustment. Um, you know, some get through, some don't. You know, they made some big plays at the times they needed to. Uh, you know, we came in, uh, had a great game plan. Our coach was in great situations, succeeded at the beginning, we moved the ball well, and like Coach Underwood said, you know, too many penalties or we could have had more points. But, you know, that's all just looking back stuff now. We can't really take care. But, uh, you know, we, we played fairly well. We moved the ball. We just weren't able to put enough points on the board. In the last series, after you get the interception, Yep. it looked like the so the plan really was to be really cautious and punt rather than it, it didn't look like you really were striving for a first down. Like you ran around a little bit back there yep. and used up some clock. Was that in your mind or not? Yes. You know, uh, third and nine, uh, throwing the ball is kind of risky. You know, you take that chance. You want to you want to throw the ball and allow maybe a pick or you know stopping the clock where we know if we can run the ball we can at least force them to call timeout and put them in a bad situation. So, you know, the plan was to. To scramble and waste as much time, and if they give me space, get a first down. But they did a good job containing me, uh, so I just scrambled around a little bit longer, and then, you know, we'll punt it. We're going to take our chances there. They ended up being a naked boot call, and just, they did a good job containing it. Yep. Any other questions? Down to you know, the last game, coming here from transferring to Mankato, I mean, all after <coughs> you, uh, that you that you came here and got to this point, you got this hard to play as a player. I don't know, I'm holding no regrets, you know. I felt like um, this year was our year. And we had a lot of stuff we had to come over in our adversity on our team or whatnot. So, I mean, this year was a success in our book. I mean, we, yeah, we still want to play after this week or whatnot, but I think it was a great year for us. Then, anybody can answer, but how much did you guys have to overcome this year? I mean, everything you guys went through looking back, I mean, oh, and getting this far, how proud you are that accomplishment is this far for what you went through. It's just football. I mean, as we concentrate and look at game to game, we try to stay focused on that. And our kids did a great job of doing that. And then, you know, we had 10 seniors, and it's great leadership on their part to be able to have us keep the rest of our team focused on, on that, uh, you know, the ultimate goal week to week, trying to take on the point later. Can I have one more question here? Yep. Coach, the last time you were in town, uh, I was talking to some uh, St. Cloud people, and they indicated that the school <coughs> Uh, was contemplating discontinuing the football program. You've got such a good team. Can that even be possible, or is that just a malicious rumor? Uh, this, you know, right now, uh, I'd defer that question to our athletic director and president, probably. But you know, we're we're happy with where we're at with our football program right now, and, and certainly our kids. I'm proud of the, the way that they competed. Yeah. Thanks. Coach Underwood and players. Thank you. Thank you. Too.